What's going on everybody, it's Colby Massey again, here with another lesson, another song to teach you. And today's song is Mama Tried by Merle Haggard. Now, this song was a request by my mom, so, hey mom, I love you. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to start by teaching you the verses and the chorus first, because those are the easiest parts of the song. And then I'm going to try to teach you at the end of the video how to do the little intro lick that you hear, because it's a little difficult, and um, I'm going to try to break it down for you and show you how to do it. But um, in the meantime, the chords that you're going to need to know are D, G, A, and a B major bar chord. Okay? Now, if you don't know any of these chords, I do have videos that I've made in the past that show you how to play major chords, minor chords, and bar chords and power chords. Okay? So, if you need to go watch those videos, do it now and then come back and watch this. Okay? But those are the chords you're going to need to know. And the verses go like this. All right. And what I'm doing there is going D, G, D, G, D, hold the D to the A. D, G, D, G, D, to the A, to the D. Alright? And that's how your verses are going to sound for every verse. And I want to say that he does kind of like two verses between, like, before every chorus. So you're going to do that whole little series right there, I think, twice. And then the chorus goes like this. Um... 21 in prison doing life without parole So you're going D, D, D to G, to the D B major bar chord to the A D, D, G to the D D to the A to the D Alright? So, that's basically how you, that's the whole song. That's what you're going to need to know to play your verses and the chorus and it never changes um <clears throat> now for the tricky part is the little intro lick that i was telling you about and it's it's kind of difficult but i'm pretty sure y'all can do it i have faith in you so and the hardest part about it is it's played in finger style okay so if you're not used to playing finger style guitar then this can be tricky for you, but I'm going to try to show you how to do it and make it simple because I'm not real good at finger style guitar, but I can do this. <clears throat> so um, all you got to do is make sure that you pick three fingers on your hand, preferably your thumb, your first finger and middle finger. That's what I use. Now, if you want to use your thumb, ring and pinky, that's fine too, but all you need to do is assign each finger a chord and um or a string so your thumb is going to be the fourth string open which is your d bass note and then your first finger or whatever finger you decide to use is going to be the second string okay and then your middle finger is going to be assigned to the first string all right and then you're just going to all right and those are the strings that's going to play the whole time. And the only thing that changes is this hand down here. All right? So you're going to start off with your first finger on the second string, third fret, and your ring finger on the first string, fifth fret. And you're going to play that twice. And then you're going to go... So play this part right here twice. And then you go... Take your ring finger off of the 5th fret, 1st string, and put your middle finger on the 1st string, 3rd fret. Okay? And then after that, you're going to go... <clears throat> so, the constant thing that never changes is your thumb and 1st finger. You're basically going to play that before everything. And then the only thing that changes is the, whatever you're playing on the 1st string, so... 
All right, so that's what we got so far. And then you're gonna go. Sorry, I messed up. And then what you're doing there is you're going. All right. Going open four string, second string, and then you're moving either your first string or your second or your first finger or your second finger to the second fret of the first string. All right. So all together, real slow, goes. All right. And watch this hand too. It's starting to sound like it, don't it? So. Just like that. Real slow. Okay, so just practice that real slow and make sure you play it right first and then the more you practice it slow and make sure you get it right, you'll be able to play it up to speed along with the song in the future. So practice that and rewind and watch this as many times as you need to and um, while you're at it, go watch some of my other videos that I've made because I have other videos of songs that you might want to learn and might be interested in learning. And also subscribe because I might make a video in the future that might teach you how to play a song that you don't want to miss. So do that for me. Like, subscribe, share my videos, leave comments. Let me know how you like my videos. Let me know what I can do better. You know, uh, requests, critiques. Any kind of feedback, let me know, because that's how I get better as a teacher. So do that for me, and I'd appreciate it. And y'all just take it easy, and I'll see y'all on the way.